NOAA and CSU have released their mid-season forecasts, and here are the numbers. They have scaled back just a touch. Nonetheless, the big takeaway, both entities are still calling for an above normal season. So name storms, NOAA is calling for 14 to 20, hurricanes 6 to 10, and major hurricanes 3 to 5. Colorado State is now calling for 18, hurricanes, hurricanes 8, and then major hurricanes four. So again, even though things have been very quiet, things are expected to ramp up as we go through the month of August into September. So just to note, La Nina is still in play. During these conditions, lower wind shear will be expected at least through September. The sea surface temperature is slightly above normal again. That's the fuel for these storms. And 90% of hurricanes develop after August 1st and just Remember, peak season is mid-September, so that's when things are really active in the tropics. So right now, we've seen a lull in the season. We're right here as of today. We'll begin to see things really ramp up as we head through the month of August. And our last named storm was July 3rd, so that's a little bit, ab uh, a little bit above a month since we've seen a tropical or named tropical system. And just to put it in perspective, last year we saw 32 days between named storms from July 9th to August 10th. So it is pretty normal where we see a lull in the pattern. Our last named storm was actually Tropical Storm Colin, and the next name on the list is Danielle. And then taking a look at what's going on in the tropics right now, everything is very quiet. Currently, there are no named storms. We're looking at a few tropical waves here and there over the Caribbean Sea, but also there's a tropical wave emerging off the coast of Africa. National Hurricane Center hasn't highlighted any areas of concern. In fact, they expect things to remain quiet at least through the next five to 10 days. Also to note that there's a ton of Saharan dust meandering over the Atlantic Basin. And we like that because when we're dealing with dry and also dusty air, that's gonna limit any tropical formation for now.